You ain't listening to the Underwater Fly Zone podcast, bro. What, what, what is she doing? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Underwater Fly Zone podcast, episode two of season five. I'm your host, Foster Huggins, and who we got on here today? Macy. Macy Simpson, the fiance <laughs> in the building. You already know. There we go. That's a little better. We just did an intro, and that thing was so loud. But anyways, we got a big show coming up. Before we get into the message um, that we'll be talking about today, we got a big show coming up at El Dorado this upcoming Saturday at 7 o'clock. Make sure to show up and show out for a live podcast episode featuring Heather Palmer, who we've had on the podcast before. It was a great episode when we had her on, too. It was amazing, and it's going to be amazing yet again live in person. So if you want to see a Season 5 episode recorded live, and also get some merch on discount. Mm-hmm. We'll be doing a spring cleaning sale. Like basically everything, like some stuff will be half price. Some stuff will be, I, I can't decide. I might be doing $5 teas, you know, oh, the $10 wow. tea box. Yeah. Literally a five. Mark it down. <laughs> yeah. It, it, we're going to be throwing crazy deals, trying to get rid of a bunch of our merch to get ready for our summer drop. Just because we got too much in the back room right yeah. now. We got mm-hmm. too much. So we're going to be throwing some deals, and, and if you show up, you deserve to get some deals. So I'll be hooking y'all up. Got our new merch, too. Got the new merch. Yes, I'm yep. repping the black on white. That will be there. Mm-hmm. It probably won't be discounted because I just got it. Yeah. <laughs> Spend a lot of money on it. But um, a lot of our old stuff will be hugely discounted. If mm-hmm. there was an old drop that you missed out on before you know, you found out about us, maybe there's an old drop that you liked, we still probably have it, and it mm-hmm. will be there. We're bringing everything. Everything old will be there. Some shirts from last summer will be there. Some tote bags. Yep, yep. And if you want to get anything on discount, show up. Spring cleaning, baby. I'm thinking of something. Yeah, well, well don't, don't even say it because I already know what you're thinking. Really? Is it about the tote bag? Oh, how'd you know? Well, because I just know. Yeah. Don't say it. We'll, we'll think about okay. it. Okay. We haven't even talked about it, but we just... I know. I just saw something. Yeah. Anyways, um, the, the podcast is going to be great. Live podcast great food mm-hmm. great environment if you're part of the underwater fly underwater fly zone family be there there's a lot of people that claim to be a part of the family but this is i think our fifth in-person event if you haven't showed up yet i mean yeah. now's the time i'm starting to <laughs> starting yeah. to question something <laughs> now's the time so this is gonna be a great podcast great event it's gonna and be awesome a, yes and a chance to buy some merch on discount so mm-hmm. okay. and you can see us yeah it's gonna yeah. be so fun and heather palmer she is just So just the way that she talks, some people like our pastor, Pastor Phil, when they talk, it just makes sense. And I'm like, I would have never thought of it that way. But then how these people are, the way that they use their words, it's just crazy how it just clicks. Yeah, so for sure. I'm I'm excited for that. It's going to be a banger. So hope Mm -hmm. to see you there. Anyways, we got a good episode planned for you here today. This is one that it's a different type of episode because we've never really done something like this. I'm about to show Macy a video, which it's a video that maybe you guys have seen before. I've seen it a couple of times and I'm going to bring it up on the screen as well. Um, I'm going to show this video and we're just going to talk about the mm-hmm. video because it was really powerful. I just randomly saw it one day and I was like, we have to record an episode about this. So you ready? Yep, I'm ready. How are you doing? You good? Oh, sorry, thank you. How are you doing? God, it's exciting, isn't it? Hey. So, uh, how's the, how's the week been? You're okay. Yeah. Yep.
Oh, that man. gave me. That literally gave me chills again. Yeah, that video just. Well, so. <laughs> well, now I'm starting to think about it differently than I did the first time I watched that. Yeah, that is. Oh my goodness, that's like the 20th time I've watched it, and it yeah. just hits every time. Oh my. Well, goodness. and Foster showed me that video um before. And I obviously, like some of you, if you've never seen that video before, I just looked at the guy um, to the left, and he was just always down, didn't say much, wasn't really enthusiastic like the other guy. Mm -hmm. And then once I saw the end of that video, this time around, I looked at the other guy because of seeing the guy that actually um, was going through stuff. And when he was asking that guy, he was like, so how are you doing? And sometimes it's the people that are asking like how are you doing today or like you know it's yeah. the people that you really do least expect and it's just crazy like i i got chills again how i did the first time yeah, that video is just so powerful it, it goes back to the meaning of this podcast the underwater flies on podcast you know how i explained the name of this podcast is when you look at the surface level of the water you can just see the surface but you can't see all the life underneath like when you look at a lake you just see the surface level you don't see all the fish all the all the sunk boats or whatever's mm -hmm. under the water you can only see the surface and that's mm -hmm. how people are too you look yeah. at that guy on the right and you assume that he's a very happy like like upbeat positive guy and the guy on the left you may look at and be like oh what's he going through mm -hmm. but in reality it was the guy on the right that was going through it and ended up you know ending his life you have yeah. no clue what people are going through and that's why like the video said it's so important to check on the people you love, check on everybody and spread love to everybody because we have no clue what each other is going through, you know? Yeah, that was just such a crazy video. Yeah, that video, I absolutely love it. And it's crazy that that, uh, it's literally a commercial in a different country. Like, why don't we have commercials <laughs> like that? We have commercials about fast food. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole different and conversation right there. Yeah, literally. Yeah. It's just crazy because videos like that, like, it just makes you really think differently and put things into perspective. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if there were was like a billboard or a different commercial that was more fun, like you don't know always what people are going through. Like yeah. it's like that like was like a play, a skit or whatever. It just was so deep. And I think sometimes it is stuff like that that you need to see the depressing ones yeah. to really wake you up. Exactly. It's so true. I think mm -hmm. it takes a message like that and the way they did it to really wake you up and be like, Dude, this is like that almost made me teary eyed. I've seen it 20 times yeah. and I'm like mm -hmm. over here, like getting emotional about it. that mm -hmm. video is just incredible. It yeah, it's crazy. It's and so crazy. I feel like the guy on the right, you know, how he was the guy being so positive, being up, be asking, uh, mm -hmm. how are you doing? And, and like saying, oh, I hope the world gets better, or just little things like that. Gave the guy his scarf. Yeah, it's so like, giving. He, yes, you would think that he would be that positive guy, but I feel like in a way those could be signs that he was struggling now mm -hmm. that now that I have been through it, losing Kyle and seeing people that have passed away to suicide and then even videos like that, you kind of realize like those positive people a lot of the time are only being positive because they are struggling themselves and they do not want anyone else to feel the way that they feel. Mm -hmm. So it's really changed my perspective of like everybody I see I need to spread love to and a lot of times you see the guy on the left and you feel like, gosh, we need to check on that guy. He needs to really, you know, we need to give him a lot of love. Yeah. Well, you also need to look at the guy on the right, too, because he is being positive potentially because of the things he's going through. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and I feel like that was me at times in my life. I remember when I was going through my own problems, I'd still be that positive guy in the room. But it's because I knew all the problems that I had been dealing with. And I just, you know, in my time socially, I was just like, this is my happy time. I'm going to bring positivity to all these people so they don't have to experience what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know, it's really something so to think crazy. about. But Well, yeah. oh, sorry. You no, go. you go, you go. I was going to say, um, it just shows you that, like, yeah, we need to always show kindness and love to the people that we know are going through or the people that share, hey, I'm struggling. Yeah. But it's like that puts things into perspective that we need to be kind and show love towards everybody. Exactly. The people that are shy, the people that are happy, the people that are look like they are not struggling, the people that we know are struggling. Mm -hmm. Because you really never know... Um, like when's the what's something I want to be remembered by you know I want people to look at me like yeah I can talk to her or I don't know I just feel like everybody's going through their own thing it doesn't matter how big or small it is and something that your dad said was um the biggest thing that you've and the hardest thing that you've gone through life is the hardest thing that you've ever had to go through mm -hmm. and it does not um 
like kind of make your problems bigger or less than the people around you so it's like what you are dealing with it doesn't mean that oh it's a little problem or oh wow that is a huge problem it's what you're dealing with and it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be like put in a category of okay now since I'm dealing with this that means that I should go to therapy or that means since it's this big I it's like I feel like every problem in life is you know that's just how it can be yeah it's subjective yeah right where it's just how I don't know but it's different for everybody like someone could go through something that I couldn't go through and they don't go through it and it's not it doesn't affect them that much yeah Mm -hmm. yeah and it's funny because my dad said that but he was like I heard it from I heard this from somewhere and I was like yeah, you heard that from season three of the No Wait, that was so, you? Yeah, it was me who said it. I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, I'm no. always insane stuff that you probably have started no. saying. <laughs> well, that no, makes that was, you look good. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. My dad says, uh, my dad says a lot of good stuff. Mm-hmm. I, w- I was gonna say something else that he says, but I'll hold it off till later because I wanted to say like, um, gosh, what was it? Just how, uh, yeah, it's so true. The problems we face in our life. I feel like a lot of times I like to compare myself to be like, mm-hmm. okay, I'm going through this right now, but look at what he's going through. It's He's going through something way worse than me, and that in a lot of ways makes me feel better. It's like, okay, I need to just stop complaining, but something yeah. that Spencer Harris said on an episode that I just did, it'll be episode eight or nine, so you'll see it in a couple of weeks, but he was saying, he was like, yeah, that's a, that can work at times, but you also have to remember, don't feel like your problems are lesser than mm-hmm. just because someone else is going through more your problems are still valid so anybody yeah. going through anything out there you may see the last week's episode when i was talking about losing my best friend to suicide and you may think like oh my problems are nothing compared to that bruh we're, our problems are all important like mm-hmm. all of the things we go through if it's making you feel depressed then it's valid you know yeah I um, agree. and also i could look at my situation of what i talked about last week and i've done this so many times i've compared it to like yeah, I lost my best friend to suicide, but there's people in other countries that don't even have food, like mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. And I'm like, I, just get over it. But it, but then again, it's like, no, what I was going through was something that really needs to mm-hmm. be dealt with and experienced. And, yeah, and processed. No yeah, less. not just something mm-hmm. that's like, oh, I don't need to think about that. There's people going through way worse things. No, I do need to think about that because that is something that really affected me mm-hmm. and I need to work through this, you know? And, yeah, and a bigger thing is like people know that when they have problems they're like okay i'm i'm not i don't like the, what i'm feeling right now but i feel like what people need is to know okay how do i get out of this rut how can i change my mindset and how can i like wake up every single day and choose to focus on the good and i think a lot of people that's their problem is because it's not that they have problems it's that they don't know how to get out of these problems and they don't know or have mentors and guidance to kind of like live a better outlook on life you know Mm -hmm. they need those key points so i feel like hopefully we can try to help them out with that and kind of learn by our mistakes exactly what worked Mm -hmm. okay i just have to say the quote my dad says all the time he says (laughs) it's all good in the end if it's not good it's not the end he said that yeah he says it all the time i I didn't know he came up with that that's well he might have found it from somebody but i don't know Mm -hmm. it's just something that i i want to put that on a shirt or something wouldn't that be cool like at the top says it's all good in the end then it has like some picture and it's like if it's not good it's not the end yes like you should say on the front it's it's all good in the end and then dot 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 and then on the back if it's not good it's not the end true that'd be cool that would be cool oh i like that one well we might do that that. but yeah Mm -hmm. i just had to say that because i couldn't stop thinking about like Mm -hmm. Dude, my dad said some of the greatest stuff. Yeah. Anyways, um, that video, like we said, was amazing. Um, what else? What else should we talk about regarding? Well, I want to talk about like seeing how people deal through deal with things mentally, and just life is always gonna throw curveballs at you. I think what we need to do is prepare, like people, everybody watching, and prepare mm-hmm. ourselves, and to say, okay, so these are the steps on if you are having a problem or it, or if you are like dealing with mental health issues or all that stuff here's how we can fix it you yeah. know here's how we can better help you so i True. think maybe do you want to have some advice for them on that yeah well first of all i want to say that hard times are a non-negotiable in life because we live in a broken world either you're gonna pass away yourself or mm-hmm. you're gonna live long enough to see many of the people you love pass away yeah. and whenever you lose somebody no matter what you're gonna feel some pain, pain. through that you're gonna have some grieving to do through that so it's kind of a non-negotiable. You're going to yeah. go through hard mm-hmm. things. But when you go through these hard things, there's a, there's a spiritual spiritual battle going on, yeah. you know? 
And that's where you really got to pay attention to what is true and what is not. And I've been just obsessed with the truth lately. And I think Macy can um, can give some advice yeah, on that. Yeah, on that. So. so I think that in the Bible, we try our best to read. Obviously, we're not perfect at reading the Bible and read every single she day. She reads, I listen. <laughs> okay, well, not the Bible. We read a lot of, like, motivational things, but... No, that's not motivational. That's, like, a... Spiritual. Yeah, That's a lot yeah, of spiritual yeah. stuff, but, um... Something godly, that, godly spiritual. Yeah, godly spiritual, because <laughs> yeah. it has Bible verses in it. Yeah. But where we get our, like, truth is from the Bible and from the Word of God. And so it truly is, the truth will set you free. Once you find yeah. the truth and who God is and where you're going to go after this life, I think that that really just gives me peace. Like, mm-hmm. just an overwhelming sense of peace, knowing that I am, this is not all that there is. You know, yeah. there is going to be heaven on the other side of the pain and what we're kind of living through. And so I, I think that people, it, it all starts in here. You know, your battle fi- your, your battlefield is your mindset and the enemy doesn't go at your toes at your feet at your fingers at your heart even the enemy goes at your mind and so every single day you need to wake up and put on a lot of people say this they say put on the full armor of god which just means like praying and just putting god first waking up and saying god thank you so much for the day thank you for these blessings count your blessings and start your day with a positive mindset not just scrolling on tiktok not getting not on in your beds just going on their phone not looking at the news and then all you need to do i think it just starts with your mindset and how you wake up every morning are you grateful for what you have or are you trying to search and look for what all that you don't you know exactly that's so, so yeah. true mm-hmm. and doing that helps so much whenever you're going through these hard times because i remember in my life whenever i was you know when i lost kyle and all that i was very depressed and I would remember just getting so angry and it almost felt like I wasn't even in control of my own body. Yeah. Like I'd be so mad, so depressed. And there was even times where I wanted to end my life. And it was mm-hmm. like that. I, I knew that I didn't. I knew that wasn't me. So I was like, why do I feel this way? Why am I having these thoughts? Yeah. Well, I wasn't, I wasn't having these thoughts. This is the enemy, the devil putting these thoughts in my mind. I truly believe that. Mm-hmm. The reason I believe that is because I, I know it to be true. Mm-hmm. Like I know that wasn't me. I know that these people that, in their life to suicide made a decision that wasn't them it was the enemy getting inside of them and deceiving them into believing that that was the decision that they needed to make when in reality it was not at all and I remember times when I wanted to do that when I think of ways I could do it I'm just like these aren't even my thoughts this Mm -hmm. is not even me right now so um it's just so important to put on the armor of God which again means just read um the bible be in prayer which i'm not even gonna sit here and act like i'm perfect i need to i i haven't even prayed in like a week which is horrible Mm -hmm. i need to get back on that Mm -hmm. so maybe i'm maybe this is me speaking for myself more than anybody else you Mm -hmm. know i need to do the things i'm saying but it's like doing those things helps you remember that in those moments it's like no no suicidal thought would ever come from God. Yeah. God would never give you a suicidal thought. Mm-hmm. So if that's what you're experiencing, if you're experiencing a suicidal, depressing thought, thoughts of you want to end your life or anything like that, remember, that's not from God. That's from the enemy every single time. Mm-hmm. And, the, and it's also not from you. It's not from you. It's not true. Like I said, I'm obsessed with truth. That's not truth. Mm-hmm. You should end your life. That is not truth. What is truth is this. Your life is worth living. We got on the back mm-hmm. of all of our shirt. Your life is worth living. And anytime you feel like your life is not worth living, remember that is not you. That is not from God. That is from the devil. And he's trying to deceive you and trick you because he knows if he can get you to end your life, that's going to affect hundreds, thousands of people. And then he can get into their life as well, just like he did with Kyle. Mm -hmm. He got into Kyle's head. He committed suicide. And then he took that. He took the suicidal thoughts Kyle had and passed them right over to me and everyone that loved him. We Mm -hmm. all were going through it. But thankfully, we've all, all of us have made it through, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, but that's not the same. That's not the same. Um, there's a lot of situations where suicidal can, suicide can be a ripple effect. Yeah. Which is horrible. Mm-hmm. Um, like generational, like sin, kind well, of. And it, or just even like someone's friend commits suicide and then they get the thoughts that I was experiencing yep. too and they just didn't have God with them. Mm-hmm. Um, the devil wants, he comes to steal, kill and destroy. And if you don't believe this, I'm sorry, but it's Mm -hmm. true. Like, and I can't, I can't even talk about it being any other way. Like I know what I know this is, 
the truth and I, I've felt it in my life. Whenever you feel like you're not in control of your own body, that's because the devil's in control. Mm -hmm. Unless it's for something positive. Like if I'm sitting here on a podcast or something and I'm like, this isn't even me talking right now. It, that's God speaking through me, you know? Yeah, the Holy Spirit. Yeah, mm -hmm. but, uh, but at, the, at the times when it's 2 a.m. and I want to end my life yeah. and all this horrible stuff and I'm doing things, I, I'm, I'm like, why am I even doing it? Like, that's the devil. Yeah, that's so crazy. False. You said so much right there that I was like, oh my gosh, I want to talk about this. Yeah, and I'm sorry. Talk about I should have shut up. No, it times. was like you're on a roll there. But, and you're on fire, so that's good. But <laughs> something that brought me, you were talking about the enemy. And honest, okay, first I want to say everything that we talk about in our podcast, it all goes back to the Bible. You know, yeah. it's like whatever we talk about, like relationships, dating, mental health, um, and just the, our stories, testimonies, and all that stuff, whatever we talk about on this podcast, we always probably are going to talk about the Bible and God because... Especially when she's on, because she always does a good job about bringing it up. Well, anyway. yeah, I mean, my, our lives are just like God is at the center. Yeah. You know, God has really changed our lives. And something I was going to say is what I was reading to Foster yesterday from that book, um, it the book was talking about how the enemy doesn't show up with a pitchfork with red horns looking scary with fire flaming out of him the enemy shows up when you least expect it it's mm -hmm. that thought that you get in the head well in your head whenever you're at the grocery store or in the line or driving your car it's that little random thought that you get and you're like what the heck why did i just yeah. think of that and it was like why did i just think of that it wasn't us it was the enemy putting that in our heads exactly and like God said, the truth will set you free. So are you going to choose? This is why we have free will. Are you going to choose the life or death? Are you going to choose um, the enemy's lies and say, oh, yeah, that is true. I did want to do that. Or I do think about that. Or are you going to choose life and say, that's not of God. That is not from me. That is from the enemy. And I think that sometimes we can get so confused in all these twisted thoughts that you get in the middle of the night or on a random day when you're just playing wiffle ball and it just pops into your head, you have to think back to yourself, take a couple steps back and say, okay, where did that thought come from? Was it true? Was it right? Was it filled with goodness and peace and love? Or was it filled with anxiety and depression and just sinful nature? I don't know. But I think that that's a lot of the reason why people have mental health crisis and issues is because they think that it's them that thinks mm -hmm. that way. And honestly, nobody wants to feel like we are, um, what's the word, different. Nobody or, wants yeah, to feel yeah. different. We all want to think, oh, yeah, my mind's perfect. You know, I don't think suicidal thoughts. I don't think weird, twisted thoughts, yeah. you know. And I think that's why people that are struggling, they don't want to feel that way. They don't want to feel different, but they have accepted the lies from the enemy saying, yep, that is me. I was born like this. Or... I'm too lost to be found. And I think that that is just where we need to hold those people and say, you are not any different than the next exactly. of us. We all have those thoughts and those weird twisted thoughts. Yep. Those weird twisted thoughts. We all have them, mm -hmm. but it's your choice to choose. Are you going to listen to it? Are you going to let it consume you? Or are you going to just let it go and just move on? Facts. It is that easy. It mm -hmm. really is. Don't dwell on it. Just move on. <laughs> <laughs> This is so good right now. I love this. Really? It, it goes. It reminds me of something what I talked about at the El Dorado show last summer. It's like mm -hmm. those thoughts you get when you're walking down the the aisle at Walmart and you have a random thought of like, I should just punch that dude in the face next to me. Or just some stupid thought when you're driving yeah. down the highway mm -hmm. and you're like, what if I just like skirt right into the ditch? Like just yeah, stupid literally. thoughts. Like these are things that I feel like we all have those dumb thoughts like that, but we don't like to talk about. Yeah. Um, and even when I feel like whenever we speak about these things, like if I come on here and I'm like, I've had suicidal thoughts. If I say something like that, people might be watching and be like, oh, my gosh, yeah, he like has. Yeah, a huge deal. But, but the thing is, then we forget, like, take a step back and be like, have you really never had? Like, because if yeah. you take a step back, you'll be like, oh, wait. Because I've seen so many videos at times in my life where I'm like, I'm hearing somebody confess things and speak about experiences. And I'm just like what mm -hmm. like oh my gosh look at them and then i'm like i'd really sit back and i'm like wait a second i did the same thing when i was in six or whatever yeah. it was it was mm -hmm. like so yeah i um i think that it's so important to talk about these things and express how we feel and 
tell the truth of how we feel because the truth always sets you free. Yeah. And that's the true way to heal. Yeah. Is by speaking about it. If you don't speak about it, you're gonna keep it within you. And just like um just like people have said, I think I've said and I've heard you is that what you don't yeah, mm-hmm. it might have been me, I don't know. Um <laughs> what you don't express, you suppress. And when you suppress things and keep them within you, they don't leave. That could, uh, that plants a seed within you and the uh-huh. seed will grow a plant or, mm-hmm. or grow something in you that's Bro, going to huge de- wildfire. exactly exactly <laughs> it's going to destroy you years mm-hmm. later on don't 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 allow yourself to suppress these emotions because what you're doing is you're planting depressive seeds in you yeah. that mm-hmm. will you know destroy you in years to come what you yep. should do is express these things get the seed out get it out yep and let it go yep get it out let it go and accept where you're at and i have a lot more to say but i want to switch the camera oh yeah okay do that all right, we're back. We are on a roll. Do you want to say anything or do you want me to keep going? You keep going. Okay, so um, we are on a roll. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is freaking amazing. So um, I was talking about what you don't express, mm-hmm. you suppress, plant a seed, get it out. Um, what I was going to say was this. I feel like we, and I, I, I've made a lot of episodes. This is the second one you're seeing, but there's a lot that are recorded mm-hmm. that you will be seeing. And I feel like I've talked about this a lot, but I don't think I've ever talked about it in the right way. But since we're on such a roll right now, let me try again. <laughs> um, I feel like we live in a world where we're all trying to pretend that we have it all figured out. Yeah. You know, social media, we post all of our good moments. We don't post mm-hmm. our bad moments. We're just trying to fill a script and fit in with the crowd of everyone that's living a perfect life when in mm-hmm. reality we're all broken we're all having issues every single one of us has problems you know but we don't like to talk about them because we don't want to feel weird or uncomfortable mm-hmm. or stand out at all i feel like that's such a big thing that i've had to overcome doing this podcast is like i know when i post a reel on my snapchat or on instagram i know there's people that see it and they're like this dude's weird. Why yeah. is he talking about this? I know there's people that look at that and they get on. It's, it makes them uncomfortable uh-huh. seeing me speak like this. And I, I know that's a reality. And um, and it is what it is. I don't I don't care. But I think that it's so important to talk about these things and, and not act like we have it all figured out. Because then that's when people feel even more alone. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you this right now. I'll tell you this right now. On the underwater fly zone no we're all we're not we're talking about everything Mm -hmm. we're talking about our worst problems we're talking about our lowest moments because i need you guys to understand that you're not alone yeah nobody's alone you the the thoughts you are having there's been millions of people that have that exact same thought you think you're the only person in the whole world to ever have that thought Mm -hmm. like come on now the enemy yeah the enemy doesn't work in in ways that are so obvious exactly Mm -hmm. it's like don't feel like it's only you there's so many people going through it the problem is that no one wants to talk about it. We all want to act and put on this mask that we have it all figured out. When in reality, we don't. We don't have it all figured out. We need no to accept did. that. Mm-hmm. We need to understand that. Yeah. And um, people just think they're too cool to talk about it. Which if you're yeah. too if you're too cool, go be too cool somewhere else. But over here at the Underwater Flats, and we're not too cool. We're gonna talk about real stuff because I re- exactly because <laughs> I really care about people. I don't. I'm not out here just trying to act like i have it all figured out talking about freaking whatever's going on yeah. in the world like the stupid jake paul fight <laughs> yeah yeah you got the jake paul fight. i don't care about that i care about saving lot like ho- mm-hmm. hopefully letting god work through me yeah to help people yeah, out i agree mm-hmm. you know so um and i was gonna say like you always say this is your one life but it truly is your one life like how are you going to spend the 24 hours hopefully that you even have the 24 hours of your day today you don't know if you're going to wake up tomorrow and so is the last thing that you do here on earth going to just be depressed and dwell upon a negative thought that you got Mm -hmm. our life is literally but a speck of dust and sand which is what god put in the bible it's like it goes by like a vapor and it is so fast how are we going to live this short life that we have down here on earth okay Mm -hmm. because it's not like whenever we die we're going to come back as a bird I believe, we believe that when we die, we're going to heaven for eternity, where paradise is. We know that we're going to have just the best time up there in heaven. I I can't even talk about it because I don't even know what it's going to be, but I know it's going to be awesome. She's a nerd about heaven. I know I am, but I I just like get so excited about it. But I just think that we can handle whatever happens down here on earth, God's got us. And Mm -hmm. I just think that sometimes we put so much pressure 
on our appearance and on what we think we should live like and how we should live and who we should live with and what we should do. It's all about our phones, social media. We, if we just put all of that away, money, society, popularity, everything, and just live the life that truly I believe that God has blessed us with, focus on these blessings like I'm thankful for water and shelter and mm -hmm. food and the ability, yep. then I think that we would live in a much better place. But I yeah, agree. just mental health, it is it is real. And I think that people need to know the truth about it. It's not you that is thinking this way. It is something and like an outer existence that we can't see putting these thoughts into you. I believe in the enemy. I believe that demons are real and Honestly, sometimes demons or the enemy can put this little thought into your head knowing that honestly, it's just you that's going to spiral and spiral. Mm. The enemy might not even have to do much else, you know? Yeah. The closer you get to God, the more the enemy is going to want to pressure you and tempt you. But also the enemy knows your weak points. The enemy has been watching in these demons since we were little babies. Mm -hmm. So I just think that we need to know more about the spiritual world like Bible. I just really love reading the Bible. So that is where my truth comes from. I think that, and that really has set me free knowing that th that is just the truth yeah. of what I think. True. So, yeah. What that do you think great. about that? Well, I was just, when you were talking about being grateful and all that, mm -hmm. I just, it reminds me of my boy Ace Paz, Nate Armbrose. <laughs> he posted. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he posted at graduation and he mm -hmm. said, um, Oh man, I, I might I might just pull it up. I'm gonna pull up his Instagram real quick. It was such an amazing post. Really? I, just, yeah, I don't this remember is, seeing it. It's not often I give a shout out like this, but Nate is that he's that guy. Mm -hmm. He's awesome. Yeah, we're going to his to their wedding in July. Yeah, Nate was the president of SIGEP before I was the president. Mm -hmm. And dude, what a what a guy. Yeah, he helped you. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Can you read whatever those words say? The you want me to read it? Did I say nostalgia? Is Here, let me read it. Okay. I didn't know the first part. No, let... Okay, yeah, you read it because I'm a horrible reader. Nostalgia is a seductive liar. The good times in life are only good due to the existence of bad times. This is his graduation post. For that, I will miss the late night procrastination. For that, I will miss the students who would reply all on professor emails. <laughs> For that, I will miss the heart in your stomach feeling of forgetting about an assignment until 12.01 a.m. For that, I will miss punching in test scores to see what bare minimum score I need to salvage my grade. Facts. For all of the bad times I have endured, I have been blessed to have lived through so much good surrounded by people I care about. For this, I thank all of the people that have given my memories so much meaning. <laughs> Oh, that's sad. I didn't see that one. Dude, I commented on it. Uh, I don't remember, but <laughs> I just, I'll never forget that because it's true. It's the bad times or the rough times or the scary times or the forgetting about the assignment mm -hmm. times in our, in our life that make the good times good. You know, the that good times so wouldn't true. be good without the bad times. So mm -hmm. being grateful for everything, even the bad times. I think that's such a powerful mindset. It's like my life wouldn't have been so good without it being so bad you know i yeah, feel like the worse things get the better they can get yeah you know? the better the more you get grateful for just exactly just the days the ordinary days that people take for granted like yeah. foster and i today we were just so happy because we are on the weekend yeah, and literally. we don't have to go to work you <laughs> yeah. know so honestly yeah. i just think that it's the little things that bring the most joy exactly and uh, i just that post right there shout out to you nate i hope you're watching mm -hmm. what a, what a good dude yeah um but just it it's so true i feel like it goes back to another thing my dad said mm -hmm. um life comes in waves you yeah. know there there there's waves of life sometimes you're up here then the next thing you're down here so i've always thought like if i'm in a bad part in my life and this is to anybody going through it right now if you're at a bad spot in your life if you feel depressed if you feel broken if you feel like you're at rock bottom i've talked about this before the worse things get the better they're going to get in the future mm -hmm. so don't be discouraged if you're at the bottom just smile because good things are coming your way it's how it's how life works yeah. life comes in waves if you are down right now if you feel depressed broken anything like that don't be discouraged because good things will come your way you're not going to be down forever that that's not how life works and the other thing if you're up here 
if you're feeling good about life, if you're loving life, you know, things are great for you, don't get too comfortable because bad things will come. I was yeah. on stage at the Christmas event at El Dorado and I said, literally said, my life has never been so good right now. This is the best my life has ever been. Yeah. And the next day, my best friend went into the hospital because he has cancer. Yeah. Um, that's crazy yeah and it's just like bro never get comfortable first of all i'm i'm never gonna say that again because that's like a jinx yeah like that's I'm, true. if things are going good and this is this is something that has me and lauren downey talked about it mm -hmm. on episode four coming out it's almost like after losing kyle and all that i was afraid to be happy again because yeah. i last time i was happy i got absolutely crushed in mm -hmm. the in the in a, in a way that i never thought i could get crushed yeah. like so I was always like afraid to be happy again, but like just when you're on that high point, really be grateful, really enjoy those moments and, and live in those moments, get the most out of those moments because a bad day is coming. Everyone needs to understand this. A bad day is coming for all of us. We will lose people that we love. We will go through hard things in our life. It, it's a non-negotiable. It is coming. There's a bad day ahead. You don't know when it is, but it's coming. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. But if today's not that day, if you got the people you love with you, mm -hmm. if you still got your house, if you still got your your body, if you're still living, breathing, if you are breathing, if you are living, today's a good day. Yeah. All right. If you have the people you love, today is a good day. Yeah. Don't rush it because a real a real bad day is coming. You're not having a bad day because you got cut off in traffic. You're not having a bad day because they were out of granola bars at Walmart. Mm -hmm. You're not having a bad day because some chick honked at you in the McDonald's line. You're not having a bad day. You had a bad couple minutes that you're letting ruin the rest of your day. You're not having a bad day, yeah. but you will be having a bad day in about three months. You just don't know it yet. Yeah. Or maybe four years or maybe 20 years. Probably not 20 years because things happen. That'd things be, happen. If, like it that. go, if it takes you 20 years to have a really, really bad day, you're absolutely blessed. <laughs> but if you're even having a, a, a one good day, enjoy that day. Live yeah. in that moment because... Take it all in. Literally. I wish I could go back to before Kyle passed away and, and known what I'm trying to tell you. And I hope it... I, yeah, I Here's know. the thing. Here's the thing. Some of the things I say, you don't understand until you go through it. So That's some of true. you might not have lost somebody like that. You might not have experienced that shock, that absolute pure form of shock yeah. that I was talking about when Kyle passed away. So you might not be able to understand the depth of what I'm trying to say right now. But I wish I could go back to before Kyle died and really sat in those moments I spent with him. Because I had no clue that I would be sitting here almost seven years later without ever seeing him in the last seven years. You know, mm -hmm. I never thought that would happen. And then it happened, you know. So enjoy those moments. Enjoy those moments. Enjoy those yeah. days. Bruh. I it's hope I, I I hope I just got through to somebody. You, you got through me. Well, somebody somebody right now needs to wake up. I don't know who it is. Somebody <laughs> needs to wake up right now. He is on fire Dude, today. it was me. Because it was me that needed to wake up. And do and you know what it took for me to wake up? It took my best friend ending his life. Mm -hmm. That's what it took for me to wake up. Yeah. Don't let that be what it takes to wake you up. Wake up today. Wake up right now. Because I'm telling you, a day is coming where something bad's going to happen. Don't let that be the day that wakes you up. Yeah. Wake up so because you're listening to the Underwater Fly Zone podcast, episode mm -hmm. two, season five. Let this be what wakes you up. Wake up, bro. Yeah. Come on, right now. <laughs> Gosh. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can come back after you. I don't even want to. That. Let's end it right now. Well, okay. I was <laughs> I'm done. I'm I'm mad now, <laughs> at me for being such an idiot when I was 16 years old. Foster is fired up. Dude, I was. I'm an, I'm annoyed at myself, because I literally took for granted the days I spent with my best friend. Mm -hmm. That's sad. Yeah, I'm I'm mad at myself. Like yeah. thinking about this makes me annoyed. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm yell I'm yelling at you, but I'm actually yelling at me seven years ago. Yeah, it's like wake up. It's crazy. Yeah. And honestly, I was gonna I was gonna say something completely different that probably <laughs> won't even tie into the story you're telling. Just go with it. But I was gonna say like when you said counting your blessings, like I still have air to breathe and all that stuff. It makes me think of it's all about here. Whatever you think. That's what you believe. Whatever you believe, your actions will show. Whatever your actions show, that's your lifestyle. Habits, lifestyle, routine, all of this stuff, it starts in here. It starts in your mind. And obviously, that's where the enemy attacks. But I was going to also say, you can have every single thing that you want. You can have it with the 
click of a button, you can have all the money in the world, you can have the cars, you can have the house, you can have the people, you can have the boats, all these condos, everything, but you're always gonna be chasing for more because you can mm. never be so content and happy Gosh. with what you have if and grateful for it if you don't have that mindset for it. So I feel like in life, you can, I even look at people on Instagram that have all these clothes. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so much. I need to get more clothes. I need, but then if I have that mindset of I need this, I need to get more of this, more of this, more of that, then I'm not appreciating what I have right now, right in front of me. And what you have right now is an absolute blessing. Yeah. It's more than yeah. what I could have if I had all of this stuff. What we have together and, and just the family and the life that we have. That is so much more than all of these materialistic things that I could have in the world to look flashy or to have people second guessing me or taking a second look and being like, whoa, I want that bag. Secretly taking a picture of you, sending yeah. it to their family. Yo, look what I just... I know, literally. Yeah. But I just think that's all about your mindset. And I don't know. I just think that you need to switch the way that you are living. If you don't like the way that you're living, you know what you can do? You can yeah, choose to wake up every morning and to be happy and to be filled with joy. All of this, life is just this choice. Yep. If you want to have a great day, you're going to have a great day. If you Facts. Literally, if you go through the worst of the worst, you can still have a great day. You can be grateful. Like, this is what I was thinking about in my head. Like, I think about all these people. I watched this video about this um, mom. I think this wife, and she lost her husband, and then she didn't say, I'm sad that I lost him. She said, I'm so grateful for the love that I got that not many people had, you know? She had that love that many people are searching for but can't have. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> she was grateful for the life that she had with him, the days yeah. that she had with him, because those happy times, she wasn't looking about the loss and what she lost from that she lost she looked about what she gained from that that relationship and it's mm. all about your mindset which is so crazy but, yeah oh my goodness this one <laughs> brought me back alive baby really? this one is amazing I, i'm so glad we i wasn't gonna say it but we did we the reason she's seen that video is because we already recorded this mm -hmm. and i was like it, we could do way better. We, and I think that. And this, I, oh my gosh, I knew God, I knew it was God telling me to do that. Cause, Cause this one right here. I knew it was something because I was dreading it. And if I dread something, but I just do it, then it's so <laughs> fruitful. So, so fulfilling. This, I really liked it though. Dude, this one right here is the one that people will look back on and be like, that was the best podcast. I hope done. so. I hope you guys take a lot this away was, from it. This was, for some reason, on a Saturday morning -ish. After yoga. After <laughs> yoga. This, shout out Heather Palmer. Show up. Maybe it was we her. went to Heather Palmer's <laughs> yoga class this morning, and she will be live on Underwater Flies on El Dorado next Saturday at 7. Mm -hmm. So come on, y'all. Be there. We were we are um, on fire today. You for sure, Foster. Well, I was just. <laughs> you were in the zone. When I get mad, that's, I need to get mad. I need you to just, just get are mad passionate. Yeah. You're so passionate about what you talked well, about there was another time i think i think today i literally think might have been my most powerful moment on a podcast if if you guys could just understand what i was trying to say it should be i was understanding there was another I time i didn't go through it and i understand okay cool yeah well then me and you had another podcast it was so our one got 1k views like our mo oh, yeah. most viewed podcast mm -hmm. besides the larry king episode um it, it did so good and then we did another one and then we did another one live out at that place and it was like the 100 it was like an hour and 20 mm -hmm. or almost an hour 30 minutes in the podcast you you guys probably didn't see it because it, it was so it was late so, into the podcast yeah. but if you stayed and listened to that whole thing but it was good because i was mad mm -hmm. <laughs> i was like so annoyed <laughs> but we had, it was just oh man this That's was so, fire though yeah there was there was a lot i wanted to say still you want to keep going? Um, well, what time is it? Because we have to go it's shop 12. for flowers. No, we'll uh, we'll save it. We Maybe have a we'll long do a part two. Season. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we for have sure. a long season to go. Um, but yeah, that video, so fire. It's this, just this episode crazy. so fire. Put so much in perspective. I hope that we could have like shared some of our past advice and honestly, what we have dealt with firsthand. You know, yeah. and just the way that we shifted our mindsets. What has helped us? and the habits that we are doing now the routines our daily life and what we wake up and kind of choose is what life is we Gosh. choose life and i think that it 
it doesn't have to be as hard as we make it to be. You know, yep. wake up every day so grateful that you have lungs and you have breath yep. to breathe. I think the the main message of this podcast episode was to appreciate what you have before it's gone. That's appreciate so the people in your life. So the challenge for this week's episode, I was going to have you do it, but I have to do it. Okay, you do it. You have to tell three people. We, we always say, tell them that you love them. No, you have to literally either call or type out a nice message, not not just a one-liner, but mm-hmm. like a nice message of an appreciation message to three people that you appreciate. So like tell three different people that you appreciate them and really tell them why and make them feel, make them feel it. Make mm-hmm. them feel the appreciation, you know. Tell three people that you appreciate them and that's the challenge and you better do it. And yeah, I was going to say, don't let it be just that normal. Hey, I love you so much. You're so kind all stuff like that commercial. Don't let it be like, oh, yeah, some people might not be going through that. Yeah. You don't know. Make it be powerful. Make it be like just something that you don't say every day. And do you know how to make something powerful? To tell the truth the way it is. Just yeah. literally exactly how it is. Like, Macy, I love and appreciate you. Because you have changed my entire life. (laughs) My life is in a whole different spot than it was before I met you. Mm -hmm. And that's why I appreciate you. Like, it's that easy, dude. Just And that really made me feel good. (laughs) And all I did was say the truth. Mm -hmm. Like, that's all. Yeah. Say the truth. Go tell somebody the truth of why you appreciate them. Yeah. The truth sets you free at all times. And... I feel like that's sometimes why when me and Macy are talking and she might be in a bad mood or something, I might be just too truthful, but (laughs) sometimes you do, I guess, in those situations, maybe a little bit softer, a little bit more emotionally with it. Not me, I always Mm -hmm. just say how it is. Well, that's just who we are. It's, we learn to just clash with each other. Life is, we'll get into relationship advice. Yeah, that's coming later. (laughs) That's in next season. Same type of talk though, the truth. (laughs) Truth, Truth bro. will set you free. <laughs> Facts. All right. Um, love you guys. Do the appreciation challenge. You better do it or else I'm literally wasting my time doing these challenges. That's why I stopped doing them back in the day because no one would ever. No one texts. Like, people would always text you, Foster, yeah. saying, hey, I did this, did that. Dude, at season one was still to my, to this day, even more than season three. Season one was my favorite season because the the audience, the the listeners, our, so our family, authentic. yeah, was yeah. so into it so many people messaging me telling me about the challenges and then it just completely faded away no not even one like i'm talking zero people Mm -hmm. would message me so don't feel like it's weird don't like literally that's the reason i do this you hey embrace the uncomfortable if you're not uncomfortable about doing something then that means that you're not growing yeah do literally do the challenge and let me know how it went like message the dm the podcast or just message me um yeah yeah do the challenge comment on this video your favorite moment Mm -hmm. one comment equals one oh this is episode two i've said this on other episodes Mm -hmm. but you guys need to know this and if you're here this late perfect because you're the people that need to hear this one comment equals one entry into a free t-shirt giveaway at the end of the season we're going to take up every single comment that was left put in a put them in a hat shake it up whoever uh, gets their name drawn gets to choose one of our shirts you get it for free oh wow that's actually really awesome all you have to do is comment bro comment your favorite moment comment your thoughts comment your takeaways um i I basically just said the same thing in three different ways but just leave (laughs) a comment bro leave a bunch of comments you're funny leave some encouragement Mm -hmm. leave a comment yeah leave something yeah and subscribe (laughs) subscribe to the youtube channel follow i switched the uh, the Instagram name back to UWFZ dot podcast instead of dot worldwide. Just to oh, I didn't see that. really reframe ourselves as a podcast instead of just this question mark of what we were. We are a podcast. Underwater Fly Zone was made to be a podcast. Yeah. And that's what we're gonna be. So UWFZ dot podcast on Instagram. Go check us out and um share our reels that we'll make from this episode because I'm sure there's some bangers there's that be I'll tons. be making. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. You gotta get to work because it drops tomorrow all right (laughs) love you guys we love you guys we hope that we could spread some light and and jack as well oh my dog jack come here jackie come here (laughs) jack jack come here (laughs) you're gonna get allergies (laughs) he's gonna get allergies jack say something
Can you guys hear him sniffing? All right, we love you guys. Have a great day. Goodbye. Woo. Look, I'm wearing his shirt. The oh, Boston yeah. Terrier drop, the black and white. <laughs> Someone said the panda drop. I was like, Boston Terrier. So cute. All right. That was really loud, probably. Peace out, y'all. Macy had my mic this whole episode. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hear that? If you ain't listening to the Underwater Fly Zone podcast, bro, what, what, what you doing? Like, honestly. <laughs> Peace out.